So this is Mortal Kombat for the Vita. Uh, we really wanted to kind of make a customized version of Mortal Kombat, which uh, was really, really successful for us. Uh, a lot of people really uh, liked the game a lot, and we wanted to make a version of the game that was customized specifically for the Vita. Um, keeping kind of the same materials and uh, details that made Mortal Kombat successful, but actually adding a, a few more gadgets and uh, things in there to make the game customized for Vita. We wanted it to be a, an all new experience so that people that have actually kind of played through Mortal Kombat already would have something to look forward to and, uh, and want to play this game. So the game runs at 60 frames per second, uh, just like its uh, console counterparts, and the game looks phenomenal. Uh, the screen for the Vita is very, very high fidelity, so it really brings out the characters and, uh, and the backgrounds as well. We couldn't be happier with the, with the way the screen looks on the Vita. Um, the backgrounds and the characters are, are very similar to the, uh, to the console versions of the games. We wanted to keep uh, the personality of the characters and the personality of the backgrounds intact for these, so you'll notice that some of the some of the same kind of design elements that we had for the backgrounds in Mortal Kombat are included for Mortal Kombat for the for the Vita as well. Um, one of the things that we wanted to make for this game as well is to make it a little bit more um, more accessible. Uh, you know, the Vita is going to bring in a lot more casual fans that might not have the uh, the hardcore kind of uh, fighting game mentality that uh, that a lot of our audience for the console games were. Uh, so one of the ways that we were able to do that was to add the touchscreen fatalities. And uh, it kind of uh, brings the, the coolest part of Mortal Kombat, which is kind of uh, doing a fatality, but makes it easier by letting you uh, do the inputs by swiping the gestures on the screen. So for this version of the game, we have all of the characters plus the uh, DLC characters that were available for Mortal Kombat. Um, we have Freddy, uh, Scarlet, Kenshi, Rain, and we also have Kratos, so it's the entire full Mortal Kombat roster. Uh, we also have an additional 16 costumes that weren't available in the console versions of the game that were made exclusively for Vita, including alternate costumes for the DLC characters. Uh, we think that that's something that fans are going to be really into. Uh, one of the other things that we wanted to design specifically for the Vita was an all-new Challenge Tower. The Challenge Tower is 150 missions that are kind of centered around sort of the things that the Vita allows us to do. And it gives us an opportunity to do things that we weren't able to do in the console game. First mission in uh, the new bonus Challenge Tower, you get to play as Shao Kahn, which was something that fans were really asking for uh, in, the, in the last game. So we kind of wanted to open really big. Uh, with our with our bonus challenge tower, so your first mission is you actually play as Shao Kahn trying to beat Raiden, and um, there's an example of kind of the um, the X-ray touchscreen, even though Brian missed it. Um, <laughs> it's the uh, so it's the full roster. It's a uh, it's a uh, all the characters that that people have wanted. Uh, it's additional costumes that we didn't have, and the costumes are actually unlocked in the challenge tower as you ascend it. Uh, in the original console Mortal Kombat, uh, you had to complete the entire challenge tower to get your bonus reward. Uh, in this challenge tower, we've kind of spread out the rewards as you ascend to kind of give people that compulsion loop to want to keep going to unlock that next costume. And when you get to the final mission, there's a, there's a pretty big reward this time that's, uh, that's a lot bigger than the reward that we got for the, for the original challenge tower. So this mission is kind of a, another kind of quirky thing that we were able to do by utilizing the touchscreen you're actually keeping Scorpion juggled up in the air for a number of seconds. Uh, it's, uh, it's pretty cool, it's, it's Mortal Kombat-y, it, it has the kind of feel of it, but at the same time it kind of keeps the basic uh, touch mechanics that people are really familiar with and it's really intuitive to do those kind of things. Um, do test your balance. Yeah. One of the other things that people have always liked about Mortal Kombat is kind of our, our test your missions. You know, we have test your sight, we have test your might, we have test your strike. Uh, we wanted to make a, a couple of versions that were exclusive to the Vita, and one of those things that we're talking about now is test, test your balance. balance. Uh, you know, for some reason, somebody sadistically decided that they would have you balancing on a platform above a pit that has a, a bunch of numerous death traps in there. And the goal of it is, by using the Vita's accelerometer, is that you want to keep your character balanced on this platform for a, a set number of time. Um, different missions have different objectives. I believe this mission actually has uh, body parts being thrown at you to kind of throw you a little bit off kilter. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's one of those things where we have uh, numerous different death traps, so it's not a reward that you're failing, but we figure that people are going to want to fail missions just so that they can see the numerous ways that you can die kind of falling down in this pit. Um, 
and it does it takes advantage of the accelerometer on the Vita and we thought that it was actually uh, a pretty cool addition to that as well. It kind of fits in the whole uh, lore of, of Mortal Kombat. This is another mission where we uh, take advantage of the touch screen. Uh, as you're fighting, uh, the screen gets filled with blood and you actually have to swipe away and clean it off so that you can, uh, you can actually keep on fighting. And again, this is just another creative way that we can incorporate kind of the, the touch screen and, and these kind of intuitive motions into the, the core of Mortal Kombat gameplay. So it's a, it's a nice marriage of the, of the two worlds. Yeah, one of the other things too that we wanted to add is that we wanted to make content for even the most hardcore MK fan that has gone through normal Mortal Kombat and has unlocked everything and earned every trophy. Uh, we actually switched some of the trophies around so there's new trophies for people to add, uh, for people to earn in gameplay and we've also added new art into the crypt that has never been seen before so we have a, a lot of concept art for the DLC characters that just wasn't created when the uh, console version of Mortal Kombat came out so there's a little bit something uh, for everybody and even the most hardcore fan is gonna find something to uh, to look for in this game. We are keeping this game on par with the console version of the game so we're using um, the tweak variable system that we have in place with the console version of Mortal Kombat so when that gets updated this version will be updated as well that way people who have both versions of it can practice out their combos and they'll translate over to the console version as well. We wanted to, to keep them kind of the same so that it was, uh, it was the same game. We feel you know a lot of the more hardcore players are probably going to go around and have this to train and you know while they're taking the bus to school or, or whatever and then they can come home and knock somebody out on the, on the Big Brother version of it so uh, it's pretty cool. So yeah this is another quirky mission. Um, for some reason someone's given Stryker a ridiculous number of uh, fruit and he's actually tossing them at Kenshi and it's kind of a tug of war with your super meter as you uh, as he throws fruit you want to slice it as he throws grenades you want to block it and once you have filled up your super meter you're gonna perform uh, your x-ray and you'll win the match so again this is just using the kind of core engine of Mortal Kombat and incorporate it into the Vita Ghost Striker. So Mortal Kombat for the Vita will be available spring 2012.